Please put your hands together once more for Bill Rivolino. I'm here. I decided to do this. They told me. They said, we'll give you half of the ticket price. <laughs> <laughs> so I started camping. I figured this could really work out. <laughs> In my favor. They're all through high school. All I wanted was a shag haircut. I don't even remember that. <laughs> Part in the middle, layered like David Cassidy had. That's all I wanted was no. No long hair. Remember that whole argument? No long hair in this house. No long hair in this house. It went on and on and on for like forever. Finally, my mother relented. She said, when you're 21, <laughs> you can grow your hair long. So it was very upsetting. I went to the doctor. I was, I was very, yeah, men say, oh, I don't care. Yeah, right. I was very upset. I went to the doctor, and I didn't care. Like, people bleeding, coughing. I'm like, I'm next. You know, I mean, this was important to me. And I go in there, and he's examining. He starts talking about this whole male pattern baldness thing, which was, like, really annoying. And, uh, and he says to me, uh, he, he gives me some advice now. He says, you got to take vitamins. I said, I'm taking them. Uh, vitamins. And uh, he says, massage your scalp. I said, I am. I'm massaging it. I'm massaging it. He goes, and change your part. So this is the odd one. He said, instead of parting it on the left and letting the hair fall on the right, part on the right and let the hair fall. I said, part on the right, it fell on the floor. It's not working. <laughs> so he gave me something uh, called minoxidil, which is now called Rogaine. But minoxidil, now this is the 70s, all right? I know prescriptions cost a lot of money nowadays, but this is the 70s. This thing was a bottle this big, cost $89 with a little bottle of water with a sponge tip. Have you ever had medicine with a sponge tip? You look like you have, actually. <laughs> and I was like, what do I do? He said, you turn it upside down and you get the sponge wet and then you dab it on your head. He says, and you do it every night, and you do it every morning, and in four weeks you'll see new growth. <laughs> so uh, I go home, and I'm all excited because I got my minoxidil. And I go home, and I'm putting it on, and there's, a, there's nothing to hold it, and it's all dripping down into my eye and down the side of my face. And I get up the next morning, and, I did, and it goes down into my eye, down the side of my The next day, I'm moving my head this way, trying to hold it up there. It goes down into this eye, down the side of my face. After four weeks, nothing on my head. Eyelashes like Miss Piggy. <laughs> they were like brushing against the windshield while I was driving. I couldn't even see. Was this a good year for you? Was it a good year for Obama? VP? No. <laughs> Fergie? <laughs> the Pope had a bad year. <laughs> and he's a friend of mine. I don't know if you know him. I don't know if we go back before he was the Pope. Who's friends with the Pope? Anyone? <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, because he, he used to go out. He used to come to New York. He, to, he loves to go dancing. He's like a real dancing Pope. I don't know if you know him. <laughs> but he's always calling. He's, he lo and he calls all the... He, he calls me like... He likes to talk on the phone, especially now. And he calls, and he'll call like seven times a day. How you doing? What you have for breakfast? The double or both survival last night. I mean, he asked me all these questions, you know? And like every time he calls out, I go, I, see, I look at the phone, I go, hello, your holiness. He's like, how do you know it was me? I said, I call my ID. I see the Roman numerals. Who is it? <laughs> Rambo 4. I mean, what is it? Now, you know who had a good year? Elliot Spitzer. We've got a show on CNN. Elliot, and he's going to talk about the economy. This is a man who paid for a hookup, forty-three hundred dollars an hour. He's going to talk about the economy. That's good. Remember this, forty-three hundred. What does she do for forty-three hundred dollars an hour? We don't do it. I'll do it tonight. I'll do it ten times this week and pay off my mortgage. My, you know, my niece now is 13. There's no role models anymore for young girls. There really are. I feel for you. Got, who do you got? Lindsay? <laughs> Miley? Brittany? Nicole? Uh, what, what, the other one? 
Paris, well, Paris, I think, is the best of the bunch. <laughs> no, she hasn't run anybody over since, like, where she is. She's good. <laughs> no. And she's a sweet girl. You know, I never, met, I never met her in person. I talked to her on the phone, though. Has anyone talked to her on the phone? <laughs> no, I talked to her on the phone. It was, an, it was an accident, actually. You know, in the back of the Seattle, it says, you have an erection for four hours. Call this number, that's her number. <laughs> I'm Italian, but I'm not that Italian. You know the difference? You know the difference, right? Like my sister-in-law, Joyce, her family's that Italian. She's got three brothers, Albie, Anthony, and Christopher. <laughs> All in the auto salvage business. <laughs> These guys make the Sopranos look like Norwegians. <laughs> no, really, they do. And the first time I met them all in one place was my niece's third birthday party. Oh, by the way, this is how this works if you're a new parent or grandparent. This is how it works now, okay? You take the kid's age, you multiply it by a thousand. That's how much the party costs. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had hot dogs in the driveway with cannoli cake. The whole thing cost $7. <laughs> She turns three, three thousand dollars. Cartoon characters are driving up to the house. Blues Clues, Winnie the Pooh. There's popcorn machines, hot dog machines, all this stuff. Now my brother has this big, beautiful landscape yard. I'm like, goes all the way back on Long Island. It's all landscape, beautiful, blah blah blah. And the kids are all running around. And I'm standing out there with Joyce's brother Albie. He's got his Marlboro in one hand, his Budweiser in the other. And he says to me, "So, your niece's tree." <laughs> So I was looking because there was a lot of trees, and I didn't, know, I didn't know which one he was talking about. And he said, no, no, your niece is tree. Three years old. How does that make you feel? I said, oh, trilled, you know. <laughs> 